Well, it is a brisk day today at the RC Spark studio, my friends. But I know we're all still on lockdown during the 2020 health crisis. And in my last backyard trail park video, I put out a vote. What did you want to see me run next? And the answer was clear. The Black Widow. Welcome back to the show. This is a custom built Wraith. We've done lots of changes over the years to it. Start Started off with my good buddy David Jr. back in the day when he was just a young pup learning how to do RC stuff. Look at this. Got a snatch block on the winch there. Old, old Vanquish aluminum uh, axle housings. Beautiful RC four wheel drive mud slingers on the aluminum beadlocks. And a Gen 2 RX8, which is an eight scale ESC that I waterproofed with a huge race motor in it. But lots of exponential gives me a ton of control. Plus I also have quite a bit of drag brake uh, lined up with this ESC, which means the motor controls the speed. My backyard trail park has a teeter-totter, but the axles for my Black Widow are so wide. That's why we had to put in the second, um, second piece of wood on either side to kind of help these wider axle rigs get up onto the seesaw just like that been such a long time since i had the black widow out my friends it's a heavy rig it's going to start tilting it look at this people ask me you know what should i put into a backyard trail park and i say whatever you guys have is what you should put in if you've got tires or wood or rocks it doesn't even need to be a large area a small area will do just fine On the side hill area, very nice. An extreme side hill, look at this, as it drops down into another side hill. And then you have to go extra wide. Oh, did I get hung up on, no I didn't, yes, in the clear. Got some tire rippers on the outside. Now you guys are used to seeing me go up the yellow uh, side, which is an articulation tester, but for the wider axle vehicles like the Wraith, this is why I had built this side also. So here we go, try to line it up here. More of an obstacle course, and I'll tell you, when it's the winter time and like sub-zero temperatures, not like the springtime, like I think it's like maybe one degree outside right now, Tires firm up and this side becomes almost impossible. Yeah, all one-handed driving, my friends. Yeah, upsy-daisy, there it is. A lot of people ask me, or have asked me over the years, you know, what's your favorite RC in your collection? And that's very difficult to answer because I, we've had so many amazing custom builds, but the Black Widow is definitely up there with some of my favorite for sure. Look at that, pure power. Is the Hill of Doom going to be an issue? We're going to have to unleash the power of the Black Widow. Shall we do it in slow motion for you? Yeah, just pure power. I love it. Look at the extreme turning I have, the radius here. Beautiful. Always an area that's a challenge because it's a huge log right in the way. We may as well use the winch here. Ah. 
So here's the winch I've put in. This winch can actually pull almost 70 uh, pounds and I've tested it. This is a 100 pound uh, fishing line I have spooled on there. A very long amount of line, probably about 14 feet. Because I do run a uh, snatch block as you can see. So a snatch block off the main hook gives me twice the power of pulling uh, uh, for this heavier truck. So I'll just get this strung out. I actually hooked it up to channel 6, which is just a variable knob control on my radio. Okay, got it hooked onto a line right there, stringing all the way back. We're going to get that wraith right up against the log and we'll start pulling it in. Just got to bring that nose up. Might as well let it keep pulling. Just assisting where I can. And then we're over nicely. How is it spooling? Looking good. Going straight through the fair lead. We can't just have a winch and not throw in some winch action into an RC video for you guys, hey? We're all stuck inside. I'm fortunate enough to be outside. I haven't seen anybody in almost 30 days now, other than my family, but doing our best just to kind of maintain a little normalcy here on our channel for everybody. Yeah, I even got all these little silly things even at an aquarium place just to kind of add to the backyard scale park. Old stones, patio stones, that kind of thing. Always, you can break them up and make obstacles. Like, look at this. It's just a, an, an axle hanger, right? Another obstacle that you want to try to build in your park to make it more challenging. And when you make a challenging park, not only is it fun for you, but it, it also changes how you build your vehicles. Look at that, going straight down. I'm the one giving it some jam here. <laughs> Except I fell for my own booby trap. <laughs> I think we should slow mo that shot, it looks good. Oh, it wants to come down, oh! <laughs> well, we could have, but it didn't want to play that way. <laughs> Looks like I'm having a bit of problems with that front axle turning. Let me see on the driver's side tire. Eh, it still wants to spin. That's a good thing. I bet you it's starting to slip out though, just from age. Dude, it's just all mud in here. If you guys want me to take the Black Widow out mudding one of these days, let me know in the comments section down below. Because I know I did a lot of mudding videos in the, in the recent uh, days. If you've missed them, go to my videos page and check them out there. Um, but I don't want to be like overlogging you or flooding you with mud videos when you'd rather backyard trail park or something else. Or if you do, let me know. A lot of people ask to see me clean up my trucks after a run like this. They find it oddly satisfying. So this is for all the viewers that do enjoy that. I get a lot of questions about maintenance on my vehicles. And in the mud videos, I normally show that, you know, I've kind of built these trucks or over time collected these trucks and upgraded them to make sure that they're waterproof and make sure that they have like a lot of grease on them prior to running and then getting all the mud off of it as possible, uh, you know, as soon as possible within, you know, 10 minutes of finishing the run. Because it saves me, you know, tons of time and money later when I can clean out all the mud, make sure it doesn't seize up and rust, dry it off with the compressor. I have a big air compressor here. And then re, uh, uh, re lubricate everything before it goes back on the shelf. Yeah, nice and clean, see? 
everything's good. This is exactly where the battery uh, tray or where the battery sits on the inside. Everything on, everything is very accessible, right? You can see everything, you know, I can get in there, clean all that out and easily lubricate that and not have any kind of worry. There's the spur gear right there with the pinion. So it's all good to go. Everything's all sealed up in my transmission with a lot of waterproof grease. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in to today's RC adventure. I know it's a little short, but I don't want to do too much damage on the front end uh, axle there. Hopefully you enjoyed the action. Left me a like click, and we will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now, my friends, if you're stuck inside, don't neglect your RC. Do your maintenance. Bye for now.